in this video I'm going to uh, dog is the name in, the, in this video I'm going to uh, clean up the file a little bit okay let's see so we'll uh, put sheets in a little bit of different tabs or we'll put some table of contents in and do a couple of other things so the first thing uh, is after we uh, put the inputs in a separate sheet we'll make a table of contents and show how you can add this to any model uh, then we'll uh, review the macro that makes that, that uh, colors the inputs for you we'll uh, upload the file and we'll color some of the inputs differently so and once we move the cell the sheets around so you can see exactly where uh, uh, items cells came from in different sheets and finally we'll uh, add uh, hints on or little explanations of what we did to the status bar through op through the uh, auto open and auto uh, close macros so here goes uh, first thing I'm going to do is to save the file. In, right now in the working sheet, we put all of the assumptions together, and I think that was a good way to build a model. We can see some. So a lot of people might say, why don't you just leave all the assumptions in that model, in that uh, sheet? And I wouldn't necessarily disagree, but I think on this one it might be just a little bit helpful to at least move the assumptions to a different page. I'm going to put all the assumptions in the same page. We started with operating assumptions. Uh, after we put the operating assumptions in, we put the t assumption for the taxes and depreciation in, and then we put the uh, debt and valuation assumptions in. So we could, we could say we should create three pages, one for the operations, one for the taxes and depreciation, and another for the um, financing. I'm going to put them all on one page. I press Shift F11, Shift F11 to create a new sheet. All this are assumption sheets. Oops, I'm in French. Just cut the uh, cut all the assumptions and put them here, and hopefully the model won't blow up. I have our uh, our, our fancy little circular reference uh, macro in this assumptions. I'm a tiny little bit worried about that, but hopefully it'll be okay. So I I hope I just hit Control X uh, to cut it. And then let's just place the assumptions right up in the top. And then uh, this sometimes happens. You know, when you do this, I'm going to copy it one more time and Alt E S and put the column widths in here too. So we get all, all, our, uh, all our assumptions in one page. Uh, let's make sure that nothing got screwed up, so I'm going to put it on my DSCI, change it to uh, structuring, change the DSCI, and it seems to, uh, seems to be working all right. in uh, those sorts of things. So now let's do a little bit of uh, e-formatting. Oops. Let's press control minus. So now we just have our date in our working uh, our assumption we just, in our working sheet we have our dates and then we have our uh, model calculations. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, first clear out the, uh, so we can recolor. Let's recolor the inputs and just show you, uh, 
show you how that works. Uh, can I just, before we do this, so if we that all, okay, okay, that's a that key uh, circular reference uh, function. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch a macro and I'll put color reset. And why don't we um, give this a shortcut? I'll call it shift control R. And uh, let's shade the whole sheet and do a couple of things. First, let's put no uh, borders around anything. Let's set all the uh, uh, fill color to, to no fill, the font color to black, and stop recording the macro. That should be, okay, that's our shift control R. I hope I didn't do the really bad thing by clicking on a cell somewhere. Let's look at the... Uh, just make sure I didn't do that. Did I call it color reset? Okay, it said it did all of this, and then I did this bad thing. I put a little in. So there. Now let's let's make our colors. So why don't we to make the colors? Let's press this one. Hopefully I don't have shift control C already. Hmm. And I don't have one named color already. So remember how to do this one. I clicked on the entire area. And then oops. I click on the uh, F5 key. Go to special. And then we're just going to go to the constants and take out the text. What that will do is shave out every shit shit shade everything that's a true color. And how about this? Let's make the uh, outs inside blue and the outside some kind of uh, light yellow. Is that all right? And perhaps we can even put a, a little border around it. Those are our colors. Uh, and then think we're stopped okay so do you remember what we can do if I press shift control R it resets it shift control C we just put the uh, we put the colors in now if you want to get a little bit fancier here's what you could do you could make a in the in the macro that starts the whole you can make a, a macro called auto open and I I already have one here, auto open. This auto open, you can put a little hint, which I already have something here, but instead of putting this in, let's put a shift control C to color the inputs. Control R to reset. And finally, let's put uh, Control E. And I've been using that one for two decimal places. Uh, percent. Now, once you do that, the status bar, and I have to put the little double inverted commas here. And once you put that status bar in, as soon as you run that, that little thing will go onto the status bar and tell you uh, what you did. Now, what I also put in the macro was an auto close. And in auto close, I just set the status bar to false. So that status bar will only stay there as long as the file is open. As soon as you close the file, it will be gone. 
Now the other thing I did is I got a lot of the inputs, like this input came from our capacity data book, and this, uh, let's see what else I did. Okay, this came from the capital expenditures page. These are some calculations. Capacity data book. Okay. Other of the inputs. Some one of them. I think they're construction period. Remember that came from the master scenario. Now the master scenario is red. All those data sheets are in blue. So if we would like to show where the um, where the data has come from, here's the uh, tool I have given you. You need to find this file named the FM file. That's that I put in the slides in Excel. And I'm actually making this one into a, a, a different file as well. Now this file has a host of different macros and some of them are a little bit old you can create the table of contents here which we will do you can change the comma style you can delete the references from the range names you can create a data table there are a whole bunch of things here but you know the main things i use from this frankly are creating a table of contents and more importantly this thing called create in tab color. And what that does, so as soon as you have that file open, if you press alternate and F8 to get a list of all the macros, let's find the macros in the FM file. And then you create, press this create in tab colors. Now, I think we might have a little more than 200 lines. Let's go down to 350 lines. And this will color it only in this sheet. And let's press continue. Now what it's doing is going through all the sheet names, collecting all the sheet names, and then checking them. And let's see if it worked. Oops, I didn't. So you notice that some of these sheets, if they're blue, they came from the blue capacity books. The, the red ones came from the master scenario page and so forth. Let's do this one more time. Let's make this assumption page. Uh, I didn't want to rename the page. Let's make the assumption page uh, here kind of a dark green or something like that. Okay, hopefully that will show up all right. So now, now the assumption plate page is green. Now when we look at the working page, some of these things now come from the assumptions page because we move things over and we'll make everything that came from the assumption page primarily these little things we put in this uh, over here on the left of the calculations those things are all uh, should be green so let's do the same thing that was alternate and f8 number one Number two, create link tab color for all sheets and then press run. And you know what I did that was really bad just now? I only did it for, uh, um, maybe I should take out those silly things. I'm going to do it for a few E. That, I don't know, what do you think about that color? Is that a little bit too light? Maybe, let, let's, let's change this. Uh, tab color let's find a uh, some kind of dark color maybe a blue green didn't work out very well uh, gray how, how about something like uh, this this one let's try this one okay so alternate Eight. create link tab colors and run this time let's do a few more uh, rows it might take a little longer I'm going to 
few more columns. Look at this. I think I might have, uh, have to adjust the um, what you call that box, that menu box. So if it's above a thousand, I think I have to add something. Okay, and we'll. You can see it's taking a longer time because of the additional rows and the columns. Just be patient. I don't think it's going to blow up. You know, I, I put the uh, status bar down here when I made the macro. Now in that FN sheet, you can go and you can change that as to your heart's content. And try try uh, looking at how all of those how all of those macros work. And Let's give it just a little more time. Excuse me for this. This is horrible. I guess it takes a longer time than I thought it would. Okay. And it should be sent. Oh, finally. Okay. I just had to do a few more uh, cells here. And now we've got our purple color, and we can see exactly what came directly from the input sheet okay and uh, or, or the assumption sheet and what was a calculation in the, in the model now let's do the final thing which is to uh, to start a table of contents I click on the entire sheet control minus you know that's how you uh, delete everything in the sheet quickly Press alternate and F8. Oh, apparently, I didn't press alternate and F8. Shoot. Try it one more time. And then press the thing that says create links tab. No, crap. Uh, alternate F8. It's dark here, and that's why I can't see the F8 key. And then go to the the little thing this is in the fm file again just run the one that says create table of contents i didn't click the one that said uh, put a hyperlink in so that but now you can go to the various sheets so if we want to go to our assumption sheet we can uh, go here so this table of contents just does this and says who uh, created the file and you can put your own color codes in it and you can uh, look and see how uh, all of these all of these little macros work again. So I'm saving that file, and that is the end of.